Okay, so this is going to be a two-part video. The first part is going to show you the different uh, items that I use for when I take a, a testosterone shot. And then I'll actually show a little bit of me actually giving myself a shot. And then the second part, I will be uh, discussing chest binders and I'll show you what they look like. The, the ones that I'm using anyways. And at the bottom of the video in the description area, I will uh, supply links to both websites that I uh, got my chest binders from. They're two different people. Again, I'll talk about that in that section. And so I hope you enjoy, and I apologize for all of the uh, laziness of my posts in the previous months. Okay guys, I have to keep this in a low whisper because my parents are in the other room sleeping and I tend to do this pretty late at night, but I wanted to show you my setup for taking a shot. This is um, a syringe needle that I got from uh, the pharmacy. Um, it is a 23 gauge inch needle so you can tell that the needle is a lot smaller um, I have my band-aids out I'm a bleeder so I've got to just in case a um pure, a sanitizer and alcohol swab to um, clean the spot that I'm gonna give myself a shot at and a larger needle that I'm going to use to draw and then my tea which is in a small container um, looks like I've been stabbing it a few times, which I have, but even though there's a hole, it's made so that it won't actually leak. So that is kind of what I do every single time. Okay, and here's for the show and tell part. Um, I have two binders that I'm using right now. Uh, I had some uh, an, uh, another one that I was using, but it kind of got worn out. So I'm, I'm down to two. Uh, probably should get some more soon, but there are two different kinds. One I got from um, Tea Kingdom, which is a Velcro. And the other one is from FTM, um, FTMbinders.com or something like that. I don't know. If you type in to Google um, chest binders, it is literally the first website that pops up. I'm just really awful at remembering um, what the addresses are. So um, this is the, the one from the, the FTM binders. It's a single piece. It has extra padding in the chest area. It uh, does a very good job at making me flat. Like, ridiculously flat. Um, I really appreciate it because I, unfortunately, was well endowed. So, um, I like to use this one the most. However, it is also kind of the most hassle. Uh, two different reasons. One being that um, your everybody I know pulls this on over their head, but it is really tight. It's a, you know it has a little bit of stretch, obviously, but uh, my shoulders do not allow that to work. So uh, I pull it on from my feet up. 
Um, but, you know, like, when I, and I use this when I go out with friends and stuff, for the most part, but, like, if I have been wearing it for a really long time, my chest starts getting sore, and, um, I have no way of covertly loosening it or taking it off without someone noticing. Okay, sorry about that mail delivery. But anyway, so, um, where did I chuck that thing? Hang on for a second. Alright, so like I was saying, it's really, you know, impossible to loosen up or whatever without going to the bathroom, taking it off, and then having no real way of covering up. And I have, like, extreme chest dysphoria, to, and I do not like to be around anybody without a binder on. Right now, I'm not wearing one, which makes me feel extremely uncomfortable, but a show and tell, so show must go on. Anyhow. So that's this one. The Tea Kingdom binder does not make my chest that flat whatsoever. It, it has the same, it has a different kind of padding. Hold on, I'm trying to get this. There you go. It has the uh, Velcro on the side. Yeah. But it has a different kind of padding. It's a lot flimsier, I guess, and it doesn't actually make my chest look flat so much as it's designed to make it look like I have chest muscles and I am not any cl anywhere close to being a ripped guy so it kind of looks awkward sometimes you can also um, unlike the other one you can see a line through thinner shirts that I wear when I'm wearing this one and um, I don't know it's just the only nice part uh, oh, and then this part I always have to tuck it in because it doesn't really look like an un the um, a white undershirt. The other one um, I tend to wear underneath shirts and it just pokes out sometimes. I'm like it looks exactly like an undershirt. It's the same kind of fabric. So, um, but yeah. So that's the problems with this one. Um, the nicer things about it are that it's easier to put on. You know, you just slide it over your head and strap in, and you can adjust it so it fits to your comfort level and um, going back to um, the problems with the other one that this one kind of fixes is because it has a it has velcro on the side I can um, like step off to a corner of a room or something when I'm out with people out with friends and just tug it a little bit looser like if I start I always like to start uh, a lot tighter with this because of the fact that it doesn't flatten me out very well um, and then, you know, by the end of the day, I'm like, oh, I really need, to, you know, either need to take it off or loosen it up. And I can always loosen it up, which is nice. Um, so those are my two chest binders. Uh, and my only two really good experiences with them. Before these, I used Ace Bandages, and those were awful idea. But, you know, a lot of trans guys end up using them when they first start binding because they're easy to access and they're ridiculously cheap and you can replace them really easily and so I was doing that for a while and quite a while actually I think about two or three years three years maybe even four it had been a while and I don't suggest ever doing it that long but I don't like using sports bras I just I hate them and anyways, so yeah, those ones, they, you know, they bind really well, and I hate advertising for them. I'm not really advertising, I'm just saying, my experience with Ace Bandages, they helped me bind really well, but then the entire day, I was absolutely miserable because they were so uncomfortable, they were so tight, they cut into my skin because they're little, like, they're really narrow, and, um, they pull, and, um, and, you know, like, they'd give me shortness of breath, but I was so desperate at that point for a binder of some sort that, you know, I put out with it for a really long time. And I, I would highly, you know, I would highly say, don't do that. Just, you know, like, it's so, it's so important for you to bind, but bind properly. And I've been working on that with my binders. I try to go without them on some days I try to limit the time that I wear them uh, because, you know, it wears on your chest muscles, you know, and it wears on your ri it wears on your ribs, and it's, I don't want to come to a point where I can't wear them medically 
without causing damage because I don't want to come to a point where I can't wear them. I would, I would like to be able to have chest surgery at some point before that happens so that I am worry free. Uh, I will talk about chest surgeries in another video at post at some point, but those are my chest binders for you. And I apologize for my hair. I took a shower last night and I haven't done anything with it. But yes, so I hope that uh, explains some and if you have any questions, feel, feel free to ask.